Hello everyone, I am Silent Death, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, Science Harder Campaign. Today, stuff. Last time, we launched our Fuzzy Wuzzy satellite to get some fuzzy resource scans. We've only gotten the altimeter scans so far. That happened between episodes, we let the game run for a while while this orbited. Got a, a low resolution scan of Kerbin and an altimetry scan of Kerbin, which means. Zoom in, I guess. Analyze data. Got a little bit of science there. I think we'll keep that data until we get that full up. We only have. Let's see. Where should I put that icon? Not here. Oh, look, I did not know that showed up like that. That's pretty cool. That's actually really neat. Let's go ahead and add it here. Scan set stuff. Overlay controller. Small map. Okay, all the scan set stuff. Small map, big map. Okay, that just has everything. So there is the small map. Let's look at the big map. While that updates and stuff. I guess this takes a moment. Don't know why. I guess that's maybe a visual thing. Didn't take as long when I was in the place. But it does have our nice little tracks here. That's pretty interesting. It doesn't give us very much in the way of altitude every 500 meters. But as you can see, we haven't completely done everything. What does this do? So I can show ore and stuff. Ah, uh, that's not too important for me. So what we want to do now is adjust our orbit for the fuzzy resource scan. To do that, we need to get our apoapsis and periapsis down to below 150 kilometers. So we'll add a node, our apo, drop that down. 300, 200, 152. Let's shoot for about 145. That should give us a decent margin. Now we shall fast forward to our little thing. Get rid of that. I really like the little wedge scanning thing there. That's pretty cool. Still going fast. Okay, we go and switch to this. Only a five second burn at, well that's actually a pretty decent amount of Delta V. We still have to do the moon. Hopefully we'll get some new missions here in a moment. New contracts. 40 seconds until burn. 20 seconds. 10. 2. And keep an eye on our periap site.
thirty. There we go, that's about right. Now we'll add uh, something. Add a parry. Two hundred, one seventy, one fifty-seven, one forty-four. That looks good to me. Let's actually take some more fuel to do that. Switch over to that. This is kind of bugging me. It's not quite up at where it needs to be. There we go. There was a little gap there, and it was annoying the crap out of me. All right, let's fast forward again. Now we should start getting some resource scans. Soon. At least we don't have any communication issues. A little bit fast there. Twenty seconds. Five seconds. We do seem to be going a little bit slow. Keep an eye on our Apo. Three hundred K. Two hundred. One forty seven is good enough. Now, close that. We just have to wait for our scan to happen. Let's see if this is already updated some. I don't think it tracks. We can check. No, it doesn't look like it's tracking. Let's see. Do you? Terrain biome. Terrain biome. What if we went to it? Instruments. Big map. Resource settings. Requires Neuroband Scanner, Instant Resource Scan. I'm not quite sure how that works. I guess it shows up on this map then. It must. Okay, well that's it for this satellite for now. Hopefully we'll get some money from that in a little bit. Let's move on to the next thing. We've picked up an altimetry scan of the moon contract. While we're waiting for the fuzzy scan of carbon, we've already got a fuzzy scan of the moon contract. Which is worth 100k, so that's pretty good, I think. No, it's worth 80k. Plant a flag on Duna is worth 100k. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our fuzzy wuzzy satellite and add just a little bit more fuel. We have about 5,800. I think one more tank is probably going to be enough. 6,200. Can't get it just right. I was hoping I would be able to. Okay, 
guess that's as good as we're going to get. Still doesn't look quite right. Maybe we should switch to different types of nose cones. We have this one, we have this one. Less drag due to its pointy shape. I like it. Not very heavy. I'm going to tweak this design a little bit and then we shall launch the satellite. And off we go. Change the fairing up. A little bit more egg shaped, I guess. Doesn't look as bad as the other fairing, and hopefully, it will improve the aerodynamic performance a little bit. Also, this rocket is a little bit heavier, so we shouldn't be accelerating quite so fast, which will help. Meanwhile, there has been a patch for. Kerbal Space Program 1.0.5 It added a whole bunch of new stuff Some new thermodynamic things for when What else did it add? Bunch of bug fixes, some new parts Oh yeah, water stuff. We can now apparently go below the surface of the water. Some buoyancy type calculations. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work out. It is going to probably be a little bit before we're going to be able to update due solely to the aerodynamic changes. But I think we'll be able to update eventually. Not 100% sure, but we'll find out. We've made it to the moon. Our periapsis is way lower than we'd like, and I forgot to adjust our inclination so that we get into polar orbit, which means we need to do that pretty much now. If we can. Right, so we'll start with this. going to be a pretty hefty burn. We just need it to cross, I think. We'll just do it the normal way. So that's almost too much, really. What if we add a node? Hmm. Would help if we're going slower first. Let's just see if we can't get our periapsis where we want it. We need it to be a 
around 400. And that's way more than that. Really hard to tell. But yeah, we're looking at the wrong periapsis anyway. I think we'll start with this and see how it goes. Pretty much seems to be the only way we're going to be able to pull this off. We'll just have to make sure that we cross this orbit at some point after we slow down. We'll just fast forward a bit and rough do it. I don't think a minute's going to make that much of a difference. Let's go ahead and get our orbital thing so we can see our inclination. We need to be 84 degrees. Okay, we will go retrograde. And then warp towards the parry. Then we'll burn our apo down. Should have enough fuel for this. I hope. Apo is still negative. Now it's your periapsis. Let's go with some RCS. That looks about right. Now you seem to crawl somewhere right about here. We'll zero this back out. And let's just rotate you a little bit. That looks pretty good. Might want to tweak that a tiny bit, so that would be radially. Four ten, four oh seven, or six. Let's get kind of in the middle of the range. Four oh five is good. That'll work. We will align. Have to be pretty accurate with this burn. 
we still have a ways to go. And around we go. It's not that much of a burn. You'd think it'd be longer. Just more the direction, I guess. A little bit more fast forwarding. Three seconds, I think it's good enough. Burning, burning. Do a little bit of this. Okay, I think that's probably as good as we're going to get there. Check mark that. Add a maneuver at a periapsis. And let's shrink this down. Between 402 and 408. So 406 sounds good to me. That'll work. Align. Still have plenty of Delta V. And we haven't activated any of our scanners yet. I don't know how well that is going. Hopefully it's still working. I might have to go back and turn on the scanner. I think I do. I forgot to turn on the scanner. That would be a problem. That's probably why it hasn't updated. I think I tried to turn it on earlier, and the scanner gave me a message that it was too high. Okay. A little bit more. 40 seconds. 30, 20. 10, 2, and burn. Eccentricity needs to be a little bit better. Okay, did that give us any money? Or we have to remain in orbit for a little while. That's fine with me. We have those deployed. Let's go ahead and start you. That's a pretty cool animation. We'll go ahead and deploy you too while we're doing things. And we should start getting some scans here any moment. See, we're already at 1%. Way to go, us. Let's go turn on that other scanner and then move on to the next thing. Okay, so apparently, I think, I need to be at a 90 degree inclination. And, apparently I've also misread the range. It's 1500 and not 150 kilometers. Need to get our inclination up to 90, I'm thinking. I'm hoping. It is not changing particularly rapidly. Are you thrust limited? No. 
We're going through fuel really fast. 80. Okay, so 80 is good enough. Works for me. Does take a lot of power. So... Wait and see what that does. Alright, that's a little bit interesting. I have no idea what that means. Um, do you tell us how much you've scanned? It does not. Uh, so it scans the whole entire planet from up there? That's a little bit weird. Well, let's change you. I don't need the orbital information anymore. Okay. I guess we know stuff now. So we'll head back to the Space Center. Actually, we're going to end this episode here. Like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. I do read all the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.